guys, Johnny Marco back here with some more Subnautica, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the experimental build because, uh, unbeknownst to me until literally a couple minutes ago, they've completely revamped the water system and experimental, it's going to be coming to stable quite soon. And I've heard of this, but I didn't realize it was quite out on experimental, and I also just didn't know how beautiful it quite looked. Um, I have to give credit to IC IGB or ICP. Um, he has a channel on YouTube, and he's done a, a bunch of Subnautica videos, but I was watching one of his, and he was showcasing the new uh, water system of experimental, and I just thought, oh my goodness, I have to uh, record some footage of this and put it up. And there's actually some new items as well that we can take a look at. So first off, this is what the new water looks like, and I don't know about you, but this looks just infinitely times better than the previous. And I mean, I thought the game was quite beautiful beforehand, even with, you know, kind of the more cartoonish graphics and stuff. I still thought the water and everything was just done quite well. It was very beautiful to be underwater and stuff, but look at this. It's so much more detailed. We've got waves now. This is just fantastic. I can't wait for this to hit stable. And they've also revamped what it looks like underwater. But you can see from down below, the water just looks so much better than it did before. looks a lot different under one too. We've got the god rays coming through. There's a little bit more depth, it's a little more hazy. You can't see as far as you used to. And at night, you really can't see much. I mean before it was kind of difficult to see, but there was still some light, but new water system is going to make it a lot more critical to get stuff done during the day and then try to figure out things to do at night because unless you have a good light system you're not going to be able to see much down there. Oh here, I got the, here we go, sea glide. But yeah, you can see just, it just looks, it just looks more real. I mean it looks more just looks more like water. It looks like you're in water more. I mean, like I said, I thought it was pretty good before, the way it looked underwater, but this just adds something completely new that it did not have before. Which I did not actually know that they would be totally revamping the water system. I thought that that was kind of, you know, in place for good. But it goes to show you, that was just kind of a placeholder. They just kind of put that down there for a start, but man, they are they are really doing well with this game, I think. They've been very active. But at any rate, there's also some new... What's this? There's some new things we can check out. They said that farming is going to be in. Oh, that's interesting, we actually can't pick that up. Hmm. I'll pick up a few resources here. Can we pick this one up? No, we can't. Okay. So maybe we can't make a seam off. <laughs> but I already have a little base down here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. So we get some of these resources put together and then we'll look at um the new stuff that they've added, or I guess they haven't added, it's been here for a while, but I haven't seen it, so in case you haven't seen it either, we'll check it out together. This is pretty interesting too, this had popped up at the bottom of the screen, but it's, it's saved in the log portion, it says broadcasting, automate, stress call, message reads, this is Aurora, life pod 5, located at coordinates, there, <laughs> routine, mission interrupted by unknown failure, send help, repeat. So I'm assuming that's from your life pod, and it's just kind of an automated distress signal, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that'll have any effect later on, um, when or if they add an end game, or if they add uh, maybe people who are going to come and 
try to rescue you and maybe they'll get hit by the same energy pulse and then they'll crash and you can go find them or something, but uh, that's new, so it's pretty interesting. It'd be interesting to see what they do with that. Alright, so one of the things they said they were going to be adding is farming, and right now they have some pots that you can put down. They look pretty cool. Survival priority report. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Let's see. Vital signs nominal. Immediate survival priority satisfied. Updating and reporting priority lists. Survey the environment done. Administer first aid if appropriate. Not available. No major injuries sustained. Assess food and water availability. Decide on rations done. Check life pod for damage and repairs appropriate. Done. Sort by topic. Send automated short range distress call done. Gather and take stock of available materials in progress. If possible, locate a long range comm relay to rebroadcast your distress. Well, geez, I got a lot to do. It did, when I load this up, it did say that some of this is kind of broken, so I'm not sure if all of this will be coming like this. If they'll do it better. Render the local environment habitable. Oh, not started. Oh! I wonder if these will be almost like. Not quests, you know, but just stuff that you'll be able to uh, try to complete, you know? To give you a little bit more direction. I like that. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. In progress. Yes, we don't want to go insane. Use plant. Planter. Hmm. Can we put something in there? Yeah, so maybe... Oh, you know what? I should try getting a creep vine sample and putting that in there. We'll do that in a sec. Let me put some of these other down. Let's see, that was planter pot. Planter box. So I'm not sure. Maybe they'll have different plants that we'll be able to pick up and you'll be able to grow them in here. Planter. <laughs> put fish in there. Let's see. Planter shelf. Oh, that's neat looking. You know, that's about it. There's not much that you can put inside your base as of uh, right now. There's no, you know, beds or any other kind of furniture, really. So this will just help add. And finally, we've got, wow, the farming tray. That is huge. Let's try to put this outside. Yeah, see, this is what it looks like as it starts getting dark out. Seems like the lighting's been changed and improved to where, you know, it's, it's darker on this side because the sun is actually on this side. It's going to be going down and stuff. Oh yeah, so farming trays you put outside. Let's put this one right here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. Click. Okay, let's see. Let's move over here. Let's get some of these. So those 
are meant to be inside. Okay. Whoa. Okay, well these aren't gonna get sunlight, so they're not gonna... They're probably not gonna grow, but um, I'll leave them for a bit. I'll cut it here and I'll see if, uh, if they grow a bit and if so. If so, I'll show you what that looks like. There's something else I found. In the habitat compartments, there is a there's a water park, which we're gonna make that see what that looks like in a minute. But um, there's also a planter, which seems to go on the outside or something like that. Oh dang! I'm not really sure what that's gonna do if that's supposed to be in the inside. See if we can place this on the outside. Whoa! Crap! Holy shit! Wow, that scared me. Okay, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't seem very aggressive. I thought they're supposed to be more aggressive at night. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. <laughs> we'll let him, uh... Let him get out. <laughs> I've never made a bench before. But, <laughs> apparently you can sit down and conserve your energy. And look around your wonderful house. Or base. You can look at all the plants. <laughs> Alright, I think our stalker friend is... Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's not gone, but he's... Semi gone. Oh, and look at they are growing. That is too cool. Why does this water just looks so cool when the sun first rises? I mean, look at that. Oh man, I really need to upgrade my graphics card so it can handle this a bit better because I get some pretty massive stuttering every now and then. I love this game, and I really want to experience the visuals, so it's something I'm going to look into in the future. It'll be a little while, I don't have the money for it, but we'll be upgrading soon. Alright, so let's see, can we put this... Doesn't look like we... Okay, so it does only go on the inside. Okay, let's see what this water park looks like, see if we can build it. I'm not really sure. I assume this is supposed to be outside. Uh, it doesn't seem like it wants to build on something. Okay, so apparently, the water park goes inside of one of these rooms, and you can actually then go inside of it and put fish and other uh, fauna that you catch inside of it, and the fish will breed and stuff like that, so it would be a great way to have a steady supply of food and like fish and stuff. Let's go ahead and the water park. I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's gonna be cool. Oh, sweet. Now, in order to get in, it says you have to add a hatch, so I don't think we have enough glass, so let's get some quartz, get some glass, and we'll add a hatch. Okay, we've got our glass and our flora and fauna to put in. Now, Side. I'm curious if we could put one up top too. I think do we have enough glass for that? I think we have something back there we could put in. Oh, look at that. What if you could make you could probably make this bigger too. You could put another room and another water park. I think I'll try that after we put these guys in. Oh crap, I just ate them. <laughs> no! We ate Jaja Binks. Here we go. We've got two of a couple. We've got two of the peepers and two of the air sacs, so they should breed. That'll give us a steady supply of water, which is good. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, we're gonna get some more glass. 
glass and then we're going to make this a bit bigger. seconds of oxygen remaining. So here it is at night. Yeah. It's pretty dark. It's neat because the stuff lights up though. Seconds of oxygen Welcome remaining. Captain. I've got a stalker stalking me. There he is. Oh crap! Oh. <laughs> Jesus, scared me. Here we go. Operation Move Like a Stealth. This is what I wanted. Two boomerangs, yep, so they can breed. Fantastic. That's awesome. Let's see what it looks like from the top again. <laughs> it's almost like your own person swimming. That's low, it's better than the aquarium. So, our creep fine plants, I believe, are harvestable. Let's see. Yep. Blood loss detected. Oh dear. Emergency. Severe dehydration detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, because they go bad so quickly. Oh, look at that. It says it's already got one. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Maybe you need a new tray. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Oops. Spread. No, they haven't. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that'll wrap it up for this. Since that is all the new stuff that I saw. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this uh, little glimpse of experimental. I'd recommend checking it out if you haven't, because the water alone I think makes it worth it. I mean, look at this. Let's see, can we go on the side here? Look at that. I'd love to go to the Aurora next, maybe, and see if there's anything new that it offers. But, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. 
and I will see you in the next installment.